Use the star dialog box when you want to work with numeric precision for the stars you draw. To start this document, I selected Web as the intent and common 1366 by 768 pixels from the presets, and so my colours are RGB. I've also created a rectangle to the same dimensions as the artboard, and I've filled it with black. And I've reset the fill colour to white. So those are all my initial setup steps before I start creating stars. To start, I'll go to the Rectangle Tool group and select the Star tool. Then I'll bring my cursor back onto my artwork and I'll simply click the mouse button and that will show the appropriate dialog box, just as it would for any of the standard drawing tools. So let's focus on the star dialog box. Let's go down to points first, because that's easy. Enter the number of points you want to have in the star. I'm going to leave that at five. I've put a link to a tutorial where I show you how you can change the number of points in a star as you press and drag the mouse to draw it. And that's in the extended description area below this movie. Just click the show more button. Now let's focus on Radius 1 and Radius 2. The best way to explain what these two controls do is to leave them as they are for now. Radius 1 at 50 pixels and Radius 2 at 25 pixels and just OK the dialog box. You'll see that the result is a pretty standard default star. Five points, the points of the star not too pointy, a technical term. I'll delete that for a moment. Next, I'll go to the Layers panel where I've got a basic diagram set up. I'll click the Star Layer Visibility icon to show another five-point star, this one bigger than the first I created. And I've created blue squares acting as the anchor points defining the shape. Then, if I also show the outer radius, radius 1, you'll see that each of the anchor points at the tips of the star sit on a circle with, in this example, a radius of 250 pixels. I'm sure you'll be predicting if I show the inner radius, radius 2, that I've prepared, you'll see that all the inner anchor points sit on a circle with a radius of 125 pixels. And it's the ratio between these two radii that control the pointiness of the star. If I hide those three demonstration layers and make sure that layer one is active, go back to the star tool, select it, click on the artboard, and that will take me back into the star dialog box. Again, I'll leave the points set to five, but this time I want a much more pointy star. I'll enter a radius 1 of 250, but if I go for a smaller or lower radius 2, maybe 50 pixels, when I OK the dialog box, I get a more pointy star. Let's do another one. This time I'll enter a radius 1 of 250, and a radius 2 of 220. And let's up the number of points to 60. Click on the artboard, and there it is, a 60-point star with much less pointy spokes. Using the star dialog box, you're in control with numeric precision. Please like the like if you like. Take a look in the extended description. Click the Show More button for links to my other star drawing tutorials. And thanks for watching.